Hi everyone. In this lesson, we're going to explore adding positive and negative integers using two methods, algebra tiles and the number line. By the end, you'll have a clear way to visualize how these numbers work together, whether they're positive or negative. Let's dive in. Let's begin with adding integers with algebra tiles. What are algebra tiles? These are small tiles that represent integers. We'll use green tiles for positive numbers and red tiles for negative numbers. Each green tile represents positive one and each red tile represents negative one. Let's begin with something familiar, adding two positive integers. We will use the tiles to calculate three plus two. The three is positive, so we will use three green tiles. The two is also positive and will be represented by two green tiles. Altogether, we have five green tiles. This means that three plus two equals five. Now, let's try adding two negative numbers. Suppose we want to calculate negative three plus negative four. By the way, this problem can also be expressed as minus three minus four. Note that the positive sign and negative sign immediately beside each other will result in a negative sign. To do the calculation, we will use three red tiles to represent negative three and four red tiles to represent the negative four. Altogether, we have seven red tiles. This means that negative three plus negative four is equal to negative seven. Now, here's where things get interesting. What if we were to add a positive and a negative number? Let's calculate negative two plus six. We will use two red tiles to represent the negative two and use six green tiles to represent the positive six. Here, each green and red tile pair cancel each other out. We call them zero pairs. After canceling, we're left with four green tiles. So, negative two plus six is equal to four. Let's try calculating negative five minus negative two. Note that the two minus signs immediately beside each other equates to a plus sign. Therefore, we are really calculating negative five plus two. So, we will use five red tiles for the negative five and two green tiles to represent the positive two. The two green tiles will cancel two of the red tiles, leaving us with three red tiles. This means that negative five plus two is negative three. Now let's look at how to add integers on a number line. This method shows how adding and subtracting can be visualized as moving left or right. When adding, we move to the right, and when subtracting, we move to the left on the number line. Let's start with three plus two again, this time on a number line. When adding on the number line, we begin at zero. From zero, we move three steps to the right for the positive three. So here we go. One, two, three, landing on positive three. From three, we then go two more steps to the right for the positive two. So one, two, and land on positive five. So three plus two equals five. Now let's try negative three plus negative two. Remember, whenever we have a positive and a negative sign immediately beside each other like this, they equate to a minus sign. And so, we are really calculating negative three minus two. Again, we start at zero and move three steps to the left for the negative three. So here we go, one, two, three, and land on negative three. Then we go two more steps to the left for the minus two. So one, two, therefore we end at minus five. So minus three minus two equals negative five. Now let's try negative two minus negative six. Remember, whenever we have two negative signs immediately beside each other like this, they equate to a plus sign. And so, we are really calculating negative two plus six. Again, we start at zero and move two steps to the left for the negative two. So here we go, one, two, and land on negative two. Then we go six steps to the right for the plus six. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Ending up at positive four, so negative two plus six equals four. Thanks for watching and see you in the next lesson.